Hi there everyone, today we are going to be discussing simultaneous equations, but before we begin, I wonder if I could ask you to please subscribe to our channel and to share this video with your friends. Right, so when we do simultaneous equations or simultaneous equations, we solve for them using one of two methods. We either use substitution or we use elimination. Let's first discuss substitution. So here we are given two equations, x plus y is equal to 8 and 3x plus 2y is equal to 21, which we've labeled as equation 1 and equation 2. Now with simultaneous equations, we need to solve for whatever variables they give us. They give us two variables and we need to solve for both variables. So we need to derive an equation from the two equations given to us and I always say to my students solve for the simpler of the two equations first. In other words the equation where the coefficient of x or y is 1. What do I mean by that? Look at this equation. If you look at that the coefficient here is 1, the coefficient there is 1. The coefficient there is 3x 3, sorry, and the coefficient there is 2. So we want to solve or we want to derive a third equation from the equation where there's a coefficient of 1. So that means we're going to work with the first equation. And what we are going to do is we are going to say x is equal to, we take the y over to the right hand side and we say x is equal to 8 minus y. This becomes our third equation. And what we do with this equation is we substitute this equation into the second equation. We never ever substitute the third equation into the equation from which we derived it. In this case, we derived it from equation 1, so we cannot substitute into equation 1. We have to substitute into equation 2. So now in that second equation where you saw x, this was x, we replace it with 8 minus y. So 3 times 8 minus y plus 2y is equal to 21. What do you notice? You noticed or you should notice that once you substitute you've now eliminated one variable and when you eliminate the one variable it means you can solve for the other one. So we have 24 minus 3y plus 2y is equal to 21 and that gives us negative y is equal to 21 minus 24 negative y is equal to minus 3 and y is equal to 3. However, that's not the end of the story. We've solved for y, we still need to solve for x. And what we need to do with that y is equal to 3, we can now substitute this into either equation 1 or equation 2. In this case, it doesn't matter. So the second substitution that you do, it doesn't matter whether you substitute into equation 1 or equation 2. So I've chosen the first one and x plus y is equal to 8. What was y? y is 3. So we replace it. x plus 3 is equal to 8 and x is equal to 5. So x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 3. Let's do another substitution example. We have x plus 4y is equal to 14 and 3x plus 2y is equal to 12. What do we do? Remember from our previous example, we look for a sum or an equation where there is a coefficient of 1 and in this case, it's within our first equation. So from our first equation, we derive our third equation by taking the 4y over to the right hand side, the sign changes and x is equal to 14 minus 4y. Now we need to substitute into equation 2. Remember, we can't substitute into equation 1 because we derived it from there. And now, where we see x, we substitute 14 minus 4y. So, there's our x. We are going to replace it with 14 minus 4y. So, now we have 3 times 14 minus 4y plus 2y is equal to 12. We multiply out and we have 42 minus 12y plus 2y is equal to 12. We add our like terms and that leaves us with minus 10y is equal to minus 30 and therefore y is equal to 3. We substitute y is equal to 3 into either of the two equations 
and um, I have x plus 4y is equal to 14, substitute my 3, and x will be equal to 14 minus 12. So x is equal to 2. That leaves me with x is equal to 2, and y is equal to 3. Now elimination is a little bit different. We are given two equations, x plus 2y is equal to 5, and x minus y is equal to minus 1. Again, we have equation 1 and equation 2. But what we need to look at here is we need to look at the two equations that we are given and we are looking to see if any of the coefficients of x or y are the same. So we look at this and we say x and x, that's an invisible one and an invisible one, the coefficients are the same. So what we need to do is we need to add or subtract the equations to get one of the variables to cancel. And it's going to be the one that will cancel will be the one where the coefficients are the same. So what we need to do in this case, because it's both positive, we need to subtract the expressions. And that's why you see a minus in front there. And the minus is in front of the entire expression. And don't forget when you subtract an expression, all the signs will change. That positive will change to a negative. The negative will change to the positive, And that negative will change to a positive as well. Okay, so now we have 5 plus 1, which is 6. 2y plus y is 3y. And x minus x will cancel. It gives us 0. So we have 3y is equal to 6. And therefore y is equal to 2. And what we need to do with that is we need to substitute that into one of the two equations like we have been doing to solve now for x. So we substitute into equation 1 and we have x plus 2 times y is equal to 5. And we see that x is equal to 1. So x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2. Let's look at another example. Now what we have here is 2x minus 3y is equal to 10 and 4x plus 5y is equal to 42. When you look at this, you'll see that none of the coefficients are the same. If you look at the previous example, you will remember that we had an x and an x. The coefficient of both was 1. And so that's why um, we could cancel there. But this one is a little different. If we look at 2x, and 4x, and we look at minus 3y and positive 5y, the coefficients are not the same. So to eliminate one of the variables, um, we need to find the LCM of both sets of variables. So you can decide which one you're going to work with, but I find that it's easier to work with the lower LCM so that we don't have big numbers. So if you look at the LCM of 2 and 4, the LCM is 4. And if you look at the LCM of 3 and 5, it is 15. So I've chosen to work with the first equation. Right? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply that first equation by 2. And what does that give me? It gives me 4x minus 6y is equal to 20. And then what I do is I write the second equation below it. 4x plus 5y is equal to 42. What do you see? You see that the coefficients are now the same. Right. And when the coefficients are the same, we can subtract the two expressions. But that minus is in front of the entire expression and it changes all the signs on the inside. So it becomes minus 4x minus 5y and minus 42. That gives me minus 11y is equal to negative 22. And therefore, y is equal to 2. And what we need to do now is we need to substitute that y is equal to 2 into either one of the two equations. And we find that x is equal to 8. And don't forget, we always need to write down our solution. x is equal to 8 and y is equal to 2. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope that this has helped you and we hope to see you next time. Keep well.